Hello everyone, this is Andrea and welcome back to my channel. On this video, you are going to see some of the products that I use which retails to 200 pesos and below. So if you want to know those products and if you want to know how I made this look, then just keep on watching. All right, all right, all right. So today guys, um, one reality check is that many Filipinos or Filipinas are uh, into beauty products. May ilig tayo mag makeup, may ilig tayo mag paganda. We want to look at our best. Bonga! Kasi sometimes, of course, may mga estudyante na may mga occasions na dinadaluhan. Meron namang mahilig lang talaga sa makeup for everyday use. Or meron namang mga office workers. Yung mga kailangan talaga or yung mga required talaga na mag makeup araw-araw. And of course, sabi ko nga reality check, hindi lahat talaga kayang bumili ng mamahaling product or mamahaling makeup products. Kaya ngayon, in this video, you are going to see some of mm, makeup products na binili ko even before or hawak ko na talaga siya even before na ginagamit ko siya because it's 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 good, it's nice, and it's very affordable. So if you wanna know what those products are, then keep on watching. Kung kaya natin mag-invest ng mga makeup products, Siyempre, huwag din naman natin kalimutan mag-invest ng mga skincare products kasi that is very important. So, in my case, kapag shower na ako, if I wouldn't be using a cleanser, I'm going to use a, a cleansing wipe. So, kahit cleansing wipes, basta make sure that it's very soft. So, I'm using this bonus. <laughs> baby wipes. Kay baby ko. <laughs> Ay, gamit lang talaga ako. Okay, next is I'm going to use a toner. So in my toner, I'm going to use the Silka Facial Cleanser Rida Dito. Kasi iba naman yung gamit ko. But I'm going to try this. This is very affordable. I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the, yes, the amount right there. <laughs> For my moisturizer, this time I'm going to use this tinted moisturizer by Quick FX. Quick FX, yeah. So uh, this tinted moisturizer said that it moisturizes and lightens the skin, instantly conceals blemishes and scars, helps protect against damage caused by the sun. And it has 10 grams. So this is only 59 pesos. Mamibili niyo sa Watson. Um, okay. This is my third use na. Uh, I'm using this as my base, pero maglalagay pa rin ako ng foundation for a heavier look, looking makeup. Okay. I have a dry skin, so hindi talaga pwedeng hindi magmo-moisturize kapag may makeup. Ito, ito lang yung gamitin ko. And I'm just going to use my hands. Okay, reality check number two. Hindi lahat ng girls, hindi tayo lahat kaya talagang bumili ng mga brushes. So, let's learn how to use our resources. So, ang claim nito is pwede na siyang maging sunscreen. Tama ba? Yes. Pero wala siyang nilagay dito na SPF something. Whatever. It has glutathione. Wow. It has shea butter and zinc oxide. So, let me know if you have tried at this. Tinted moisturizer. This is good for traveling also. I have I have I bought this because I need something light for my for my makeup kit pag lumulubas ako ng Manila. Wala siyang amoy. Yes. I by the way Itong gagamitin ko rin as a uh, base or as a primer na rin. Kasi so, sa totoo lang, sobrang mahal ng primer. Oh, no. Hindi ko rin alam kung may mag mabibili ba akong primer na mura pero effective. So, ito na lang gagamitin ko instead. So, totoo ang nakaka-brighten siya ng face kasi medyo uh, may tint siya. Pero, I think hindi niya nakoconceal yung mga lines. Tinan mo yung mga nerves ko, labas na labas. Ito, may pimple ako. Pimple siya. Yan. 
Tapos, yun, marami po rin akong blemishes. So, it doesn't conceal blemishes, but it's a nice base, especially for dry skin. Now, let's proceed to our foundation. Let's be real. Hindi naman lahat talaga lahat ng girls mahilig magsuot ng foundation and I'm guilty of it. Kasi gusto ko talaga lahat ng ginagamit ko sa mukha ko lightweight lang. Kasi, alam mo yun, ayoko nang mabigat sa... Mabigat. Haba <laughs> <laughs> explanation. For my foundation, I'm going to use my Everbilena Pro Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Oriental. So... Isang taon na to sa akin, pero it's okay because it's good for 24 months or 2 years. Okay guys, so ito na yung first coat. Let's try a second coat. To be honest, um... Nagsisi ako, naglagay pa ako ng second layer. Kasi wala rin yung nangyayari. Um, kita pa rin yung mga fine lines ko. Yung mga nerves ko dyan. Ayan, kita pa rin. So, nag-feeling makapala na parang nakapato. Anyway, tuloy-tuloy na natin to. Eh, dito na tayo eh. <laughs> oh, magagawa natin. Okay, we're going to put on uh, some concealer. I'm, I'm using my Fit Me. Um, ano ba? Yeah, it's a Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline New York. This is, I, I think I got this for only 99 pesos or something like that. Or kung hindi man 199, less than 200 na rin. Well, para sa akin, mas okay na mag-invest. Para sa akin lang ha, mas gusto kong mag-invest sa magandang klaseng concealer kasi sa magandang foundation for everyday use. For everyday use. Kasi sa tingin ko, hindi naman talaga necessary kailangan mo mag-foundation kung pwede mo naman talagang gamitin lang is is concealer especially if you already have a good skin if you already have a nice skin uh, kung meron ka lang mga i-conceal like on my case, my under eyes minsan meron akong uh, yan, pimple, blemishes kung yun lang naman yung gusto kong i-conceal then I'm just going to use my concealer pero for the sake of this video gumamit ako ng foundation. To make sure na hindi magkikrease yung makeup natin or hindi siya magkakaroon ng crack-crack, yun yung creasing tinatawag. We're going to use a setting powder. And here, I'm going to use my Nishido. Is this called Nishido or Nishido? I think this is Nishido. Final powder in Creamy Glow. It comes with a... What is this? Powder puff? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Yun lang, powdery talaga. Ito powder, ito powdery din. Ayoko nang ginaganon yung powder sa face ko. I'm just dabbing it in my face. Now it's time for our eyebrows. I'm going to use my Nichido uh, Mineral Precise Eye Pencil. This is in the color Chestnut. And this retails for 138 pesos. Hindi siya nakasilin na Now that my eyebrows are okay, I'm going to proceed with the eyes. Um, sa totoo lang, wala talaga akong eyeshadow na below 200 pesos. Oh. Kasi yung mga eyeshadows ko ngayon, um, nakapalit na siya ng malaki. So, it range to 1,000 and above na. May maliit man akong eyeshadow palette. Hindi ko naman alam kung magkano conversion kasi binili ko yun sa Thailand. Kaya, sorry, wala talaga akong eyeshadow palette na below 200. Hindi ako nakabili. Kasi maulan ngayon, hindi talaga ako makalabas ng bahay. So, I'm just going to use something else. So, in this case, I'm going to use my Everbilena Black Eyeliner. This this is only 65 pesos. Okay. Let's try. Kung may magagawa tayong look with just a black eyeliner. Tapos, para magkaroon ng brownish color, gamitin naman natin yung pangkilay natin yung chido. Dito. Tapos, gumamit tayo ngayon ng blending brush.
So I'm going to use my Nichido um, lip pencil in the color Blaze. We're going to use our Everbellana lip color in the color, what is it? Exact color, 708. We're going to use it as our blush. So, para naging ano to? Lip, lip pencil and <laughs> lipstick challenge. So, pinkish siya, na medyo may shine. Yan ang nga yung problema ng makita. Nagbe-blend naman siya, pero yung, yung foundation, nagka-crack talaga siya. So okay na rin. Not bad. Kaya naman siguro ito sa tamang pag-blend. So dahil pala inyong na natin ito, diba? Kasalanan. Hindi ko naman. I will also use my pang kilay for my nose contour. Going back to the eyes, we're going to use our liquid eyeliner pen. Okay, this is Ever Belena. This is color black. We'll also apply a black eyeliner on my waterline and blend it with a small brush. Use our favorite mascara by me, Hyper Curl. Mm. Okay, sad to say, wala akong highlighter. Oh, no! Konto lang ng paraan. Let's use our concealer again. Dito lang sa inner corners ng eyes natin. Finally, we are going to put on our lipstick. And here we are going to use Vice Cosmetics uh, in the color Exage. This is uh, maroon. Brown red, parang ganun. So, match lang sa ng ating red. Using a concealer, I'm going to soften the edges of my lips and blend it with a cotton swab. There you go everyone. This is the final look on this makeup video. If I'm going to tell you what I think about this product or what I think about this look is, I have three things. First, napaka affordable mga products there. Less than 200 pesos. Second is, uh, all the products that are used are easy to blend. Hindi ako nahirapang ilagay siya sa aking face. Uh, and third, um, magaganda yung color payoff niya. So, Hindi ka talaga magsisising bilhin yung mga products na yun. However, I have some points na medyo hindi ko nagustuhan. First is, hindi siya light fit. Hindi ka talaga siya sa face. Kasi nga, yun nga yung formulation niya. Uh, dahil affordable siya, ang formulation syempre na kagamitin nyo is medyo mabigat kumpara dun sa mga high-end products. Next is, hindi siya orderless. Uh, some products are really, really... Uh, really, really smells good. Some products doesn't. Yung iba, uh, may chemicals. Ayun na nga, yun nga yung bad side niya. And third, um, mabilis siya maubos. Okay? So, ito nga yung irony. Mura siya, pero mabilis siya maubos. So, if you really like some makeup products, or if you really prefer some brands na high-end, I think mas okay na mag-invest ka na lang dun sa mga products na yun if we are talking about pagtitipeda. Yes, these products are, are are really affordable. Pero if you're going to use it for a long run, hindi ko alam kung magtatagal ba siya dun sa, dun sa kailangan mo siya, sa pangangailangan mo. Correct! Na. Pero if you are going to use those high-end makeup, I think mas magtatagal sila. So, Kung kukumputin natin, parang ganun din eh. Parang ganun din yung, yung mangyayari. 
Okay guys, reality check again. Why are we using makeup? For me, I'm using makeup to feel comfortable, to feel confident, and to feel beautiful. Uh, if I'm going to use some products na feeling ko is maganda naman ako, uh, confident naman ako, pero hindi ako comfortable, then I think hindi ko siya pipiliyan eh. Pero if I'm going to have some products na feeling ko maganda na ako, comfortable pa ako, confident pa ako, then, okay, I'm going to use those products. Pero, mahal. <laughs> and if we are going to be very practical, um, okay yun. Walang problema. If we're on a budget, it's good to use these kinds of products ang ginamit natin sa video na to. Pero, if we are on the quality of the product, eh, okay na rin naman mag-invest tayo sa mga high-end products or brands. Kasi, magagamit naman natin siya for a long run. And at the end of the day, pinagirapan natin yung ginamit natin. Oh, yeah. natin doon. So, huwag natin titrin yung sarili natin. <laughs> okay? So, that's it for today. This is my makeup look for my drugstore makeup that are 200 pesos and below. I hope you like this look. And if you do, leave a comment on the sec comment section below and like this video. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Alright, alright, alright Okay, okay, okay